folks I thought it was a good idea to do one of these videos that I don't do that often nowadays contest responses but it happens once in a while uh, this time it is for my friend Anthony AJK's Vinyl Life hello there Anthony hope everything is all right with you uh, Anthony is trying to get to 1,000 subscribers which I'm very sure that he will in the very near future. Uh, well deserved, congratulations to those. And you have a contest uh, that I thought was very interesting. So I thought, why not uh, make my response? Uh, and uh, you want us first to show uh, records with artists that starts in uh, four certain letters. Uh, a J K S uh, and uh, um, it wasn't all that hard actually uh, so I did a little twist uh, all of the records that you see now with exceptions from one later on uh, for obvious reasons uh, all of these records are uh, from the 80s so an 80s response video for you Anthony so A, not that hard, try to think of a record that I don't show all that often. I can remember only showing this once and that was when I bought it in, in uh, Uppsala uh, three years ago. Uh, a as in a flock of seagulls and I've shown the two uh, more famous ones uh, numerous times so I thought why not show this one. Uh, their third album dream come true from 1986 uh, and uh, um, the two uh, before th this one were 80s new wave classics they are amazing this one is also really really good but maybe not in the same league as the two others but still a really really good really really great album dream come true by a flock of seagulls uh, G, a um, letter that doesn't have that much artists actually, uh, but uh, I thought this one was very interesting. I picked uh, Genesis and their album Duke from 1980. Uh, this is an album that uh, stands a little between the old Genesis. Uh, more proggy Genesis and a newer style uh, inspired of course by uh, Phil Collins uh, who at this time is going through a new phase in his career uh, and uh, it is a really really good album definitely a great album so G as in Genesis K there I took a band that isn't mentioned all that much today, unfortunately, because they were really, really good in their period of time. I'm talking about a band uh, who had their biggest hit back in 1984 with a song called uh, Closest Thing to Heaven. And then I'm talking about Kane Gang and their album The Bad and the Low Down World of Kane Gang. Uh, from 1984 and uh, a really, really soft relaxing and really really great uh, album that is so forgotten today actually they were pretty much a one-hit wonder with this closest thing to heaven uh, but uh, they were worth so much more they were a really really great British band the Kane Gang but I take it as a K Kane Gang, end of story. Uh, that is how you sort things in, the, in, in the records. <laughs> S, Anthony, I know we had a talk about uh, this artist and the, her producer before, so I thought it would be natural to have at S, Sandra, and her album Mirrors, a really, really amazing album. Uh, a classic. There's only one album that uh, actually is um, coming a little bit higher than this one by her, and that is um, 
uh, into Secret Land that follow up to this one. But this is an amazing, amazing album, produced of course by Michael Enigma Cretu. So S as in Sandra mirrors. Uh, next question was to show a vinyl that uh, is looking a bit odd and then we could talk about uh, different shapes or the colored vinyl or, or uh, picture discs. Um, I don't think that this one counts but I took it as an honorable mention. Uh, it's not shaped, it's still shaped as a vinyl but it is an odd vinyl. The nothings the Nothing record album and as you could see looks like an ordinary vinyl with the exception of that it doesn't contain anything it is an empty vinyl uh, it's blank it doesn't contain anything why you might ask uh, it is a very interesting this is some kind of of course a, a comedy uh, thing uh, where they actually make <laughs> different kind of faked um, uh, quotations from different uh, celebrities of this album Dolly Parton says fabulous I have two of them two of what I suspect it's not this one the vicious my kind of music and as I said, there's nothing on this record. You might do your own judges. Uh, we have uh, Steel Wonder. It sounds as good as it looks. Um, uh, Rolling Stone, the uh, magazine said, apocryphal, ethereal, uh, ephemeral, at long, uh, at uh, long last, an answer to the musical question of being a nothing, nothingness. Uh, and uh, Her Krishna Science Monitor says it's cuckoo, it's wacko, it's zen. <laughs> Guy Lombardo, my kind of music, and so on and so on. So it's a real, real fun record and an oddity nonetheless. And with it comes also, I should say. <laughs> A lyric sheet and a poster inside. This is the lyric sheet, <laughs> and of course, the poster. What did you expect? <laughs> so this is a hilariously, hilariously funny, uh, funny record. Uh, so, but uh, I'll listen to it. Oh, what a damn beat it is! <laughs> So uh, definitely an odd record, even though it isn't uh, odd shaped, it still looks like a record. The Nothing Record album. But I suspect that that one won't count as it still looks like a record. So I picked, of course, a picture disc, uh, by this, an interview disc by, with Brian Adams from 1983. Uh, and the Nothing Record album, of course, is the only one that isn't from the 80s. And Obviously, <laughs> so uh, we have a Brian Adams uh, interview disc, uh, pretty early in his, in his career. And finally, uh, an album that has a song uh, with the word "life" in it. That's pretty many records, I think. So I picked a great one from the eighties. I picked the self-titled debut from Dream Academy, British group, uh, the new wavish uh, indie pop um, blend, uh, a real fantastic, uh, dreamy and wonderful album, a highly recommended album if you don't have it, Anthony. Uh, and their biggest hit was, of course, Life in a Northern Town. Life in a northern town. A real fantastic uh, song with amazing choir. Uh, so uh, Dream Academy uh, and Life in a Northern Town in the, the final question. So that was my response 
to your uh, contest, Anthony. Uh, I hope that you will have a whole lot more responses and a whole lot more subscribers and to see you a whole lot more in videos. So uh, take care and take care of everybody else uh, until next time and have a real nice weekend and so long. <laughs>